What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Ibanez Obsession. That was like a change in my intro. Anyways, so today I have a battle, and I just had to move the microphone closer to my face because it was too quiet. And look at me spin right here. And I kind of failed this time. It wasn't as good as last time. And, um... Apparently that's Skype popping up right there. Yeah, 649 sent me a message, so he was interrupting my recording. Gosh. Um, so we're going to go in the verse recorder, and this is a battle and stuff. But uh, I kind of forgot to change the background, so I don't know. Let's, we're just going to stick with the older uh, background style here, the one that's not changed. Anyway, I was worried that that Ninetales would come out first, which obviously it was going to. So instead of sending out Bronzong, I, I sent in my uh, Hypno. Now, he's going to predict a Toxic, uh, and I was stupid and didn't predict him to switch, so now I just got screwed. <laughs> That was probably one of the worst predictions I've had in, like, my past five battles. I completely forgot he had an Espeon. So, uh, now I'm gonna send in my Bronzong, and he's gonna start Calm Minding, because he's gonna, like, set up and, like, try to blow my face off or something. I don't know. But, uh, sorry, dude, that's just not gonna happen, because, um, I'm a Bronzong. And, uh... Right now, I'm going to trick him, uh, my lagging tail, so now you guys know what this, uh, Bronzong strategy actually is. Basically, to make it so that the opponent always attacks less, so I'm faster, and I can completely destroy him. Look at this! That is catastrophic damage right there. I almost one-hit KO'd it. Now, of course, Psychic's not going to do much, because it is a, uh, times four resistance, but, um, oh well, he tried. Uh, anyway, in comes this Sizor, and I knew he was going to switch, so, um, uh, well, it was either that, or he was going to Psychic me again, and he really couldn't touch me anyway, so, now I'm going to send him my Lucario, as he's going to go for a Swords Dance, because that is what Sizors do, um, and now he's like flying around, and, uh, now he's going to Bullet Punch me, and, uh, this is really dumb. Because guess what happens? Crit! And that really screwed me up because now nah, I don't know. But I got the HP fire going, so at least I can take out the Sizor. But still, that critical hit bullet punch really did matter. Kind of stinks, but uh. Oh well. Um. So a anyway, he's gonna send in this Crocodile, and it apparently has Intimidate, which is weird because doesn't it get sheer force? Yeah, um, we got, we got another ability that was really useful. Anyways, uh, he, I knew he was going to Earthquake, so I'm just going to switch into my Jingle Bell. And, um, I'm going to guess that he's Scarf, because he doesn't stay in. So, yeah. Anyway, in comes this Scrafty, and I just went for a Gyro Ball, and it's Scrafty, so that's going to do absolutely nothing. I mean, it did okay damage, but... What are we going to do? Uh. Ugh, sorry guys, I'm yawning here because it's kind of the morning and I'm tired. Anyway, I'm going to send in my Hypno here as he's going to go for a substitute. And, you know, that means I can't set up on him, but that's okay because, you know, I, I can still attack him. That's why I have Seismic Toss, uh, which you will see here. Okay, so now I can use Seismic Toss and uh, br bring in the house down on this thing. And, uh, he's gonna go for a crunch, and because I'm a Hypno, um, I, I mean, look at this. I'm more specially bulky than physically bulky. I'm not really physically bulky at all, but, uh, I'm gonna guess that he doesn't have any attack EVs because of that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm gonna go for another Seismic Toss, and I do have speed him, which is actually kind of cool, so. Uh, but he's gonna set up. <sighs> He's gonna set up another yawn on me. <laughs> another substitute on me, and I don't like that because it's a substitute, and those are quite unpredictable. So, yeah. Anyway, watch what happens here. Seismic Toss. Hooray! Now I can revenge kill it. Wait, no. He's gonna go for rest. <sighs> so, 
In a way, I've kind of wasted my Hypno, but in another way, I haven't because of the fact that uh, I still can revenge kill it because even at full health, you guys know Cobalion Focus Blast. There is like no ma no matter how especially bulky it is, you're not gonna live a Focus Blast from a Specs uh, Cobalion. However, I do miss, and you know. But now I'm gonna hit. So goodbye. Boom. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, no matter bulky Scrafty is, it's not gonna live a s stab focus blast from a Spectacle Balion. In comes this Crocodile, and, uh, this is Payback right here. Well, um, actually first, uh, Payback happens when I go, f when he goes for Earthquake, and that's a revenge kill. So, bye Cobalion. Uh, <sighs> Oh my goodness, I'm yawning too much. I just used that to see what he was going to go for and to see if he was actually a scarf, and he does outspeed me, so he's a scarf. And uh, I was predicting a switch into Nine Tails, but he just goes for, uh, he goes into the S Beyond, so, okay. I can just kill that, anyways. Anyway, in comes the Nine Tails now, and uh, I don't really want to stay in against that, you know. Just because. So I'm going to send in my Aster Ruby here. And, uh, he's just going to start flamethrowering me. And, uh, guess what happens here? Burn! My goodness. So, uh, that's like... <laughs> that's like 2-0 uh, hacks for him. So he's got two hacks on me, and I've got no hacks. So, what the heck. Now, I'm going to go for a T-Wave here. Because I'm going to future predict here... And, uh, just let, I know I was going to die from Solar Beam. Look, look at this, guys. Bronzong can't outspeed Ninetales. But if Bronzong is my last poke, I need some way to outspeed it and kill it. Because if I can't outspeed it, he's just going to kill me with a flamethrower and I'm going to lose. So, um, yeah, future predictions. Anyway, get in there, Kool-Aid. So, he's going to switch out to his Kukadile. Uh... Uh, and I'm gonna yawn again. Uh, and he's gonna get his Intimidate off. But, um, here's where I get a little payback on, uh, this, um, team of his. Yeah, crit. <laughs> so, definitely payback, and, um, but it's still 2-1 in his favor. So it's gotta come back around at some point, you know. I don't know. It, it just will. So he's gonna trace my poison point, and that's messed up. But, uh, gonna go for Sludge Bomb, and doesn't poison, and I'm gonna get screwed over by Ice Beam. However, uh, I just can't stop drinking Kool Aid, so I'm gonna survive that. And I'm just gonna go for another Sludge Bomb, but, uh, I actually get a Poison Hacks, so now it's 2 2. Now, He's going to go for the Ice Beam, and that was a bad move, because if he would have gone for Recover, he could have lived a lot longer. Um, anyways, this is where I call shenanigans. Crab Hammer, from a Kangler, it lives, what? So, goodbye. <laughs> So I'm calling shenanigans and whatnot, and now he's going to die from poison, which is really nice. So now it's going to be a 1v1 between my Bronzong and his Ninetales. Who's going to win? Well, guess what happens? So I'm going to go for the para flinch trick here and try and para flinch him. And guess what happens? I get it. That is right, people. And that is also the game right there. Bronzong, you are definitely the MVP of this battle, and Starmie, you're like the MVPP because you just helped me win. If it wasn't for that paralysis, I probably would have lost. Anyway, um, that is that, and this video is actually over 10 minutes long. Hooray, another 10 minute battle. Anyways, see you guys next time for more OU battles and stuff. By the way, don't forget to check out his channel.